Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about splenic cysts. Splenic cysts are like any other cysts, they are anechoic structure. First they are anechoic, that is they appear almost black in color without any shadowing. Okay, they are anechoic structures anechoic lesions which are present and they show posterior acoustic enhancement so they have posterior acoustic enhancement here so if you see the picture so this is the splenic cyst which is anechoic lesion along with this is on the posterior side you see acoustic enhancement that is this white colored lesion this is posterior that is posterior to the splenic cyst, you will see acoustic. Acoustic is uh, related to this uh, sound, you know, uh, ultrasound. Acoustic enhancement, you can see increased echogenicity. So, you can see this posterior, posterior acoustic enhancement is seen along with an echoic lesion. So, this is a cyst, splenic cyst. In the splenic cyst, we have, if you see, these splenic cysts are of two types. We have simple splenic cysts and we also have a complex splenic cysts. So, first, in simple splenic cysts, in simple splenic cysts, these simple splenic cysts are either round to ovoid in shape. They are either round in shape like this or ovoid in shape like this. And they are lined by thin and well-defined wall, wall. Thin and sharply refined or well-defined wall. So you can see the well-defined wall in this cyst. So these are simple splenic cysts. Then we have complex splenic cysts. The second type is complex splenic cysts. In the complex splenic cysts, these complex splenic cysts have septations. You can see the septations here. These are septations which you can see here. And they have calcifications and thickened wall. This whitish or um, hyperechoic lesion which you see wall around this cyst. This is a cyst lined by this hyperechoic wall. And this is more hyperechoic. This is actually a calcification. Okay, which is seen in complex cysts and in complex cysts you can also see the thickened wall is also seen and also these complex cysts sometimes they might have completely solid component. So complex cysts can contain septations, thickened wall, calcifications and there can be solid component also. Sometimes these complex cysts will sometimes grow to a large extent, grow very large and they might become exophytic. Okay, so this is splenic complex cysts which can be noted. Then, so if you see these are the two cysts, see this cyst is it is an anechoic structure. You can see the anechoic nature uh, surrounded by thin wall. Okay, this is mostly a simple cyst. Okay, whereas here you can see these septations. So, this could be a complex cyst. Now, if you see the causes of plenic cyst or if you see types like no, not causes types types of splenic cysts in the types of splenic cyst we have uh, uh, most common types and less common types or uncommon types so most common types of splenic cysts include primary congenital cysts then we have pseudo cyst and hydrated cyst Primary congenital cyst, pseudo cyst, and hydrated cyst are the most common type of splenic cysts. 
we also have uncommon types of splenic cysts uncommon types of splenic cysts include pancreatic pseudo cyst is not common though in some areas it is common there can be uncommon cysts like lymphangiomas hemangiomas then we have angiosarcomas and we have cystic metastasis so these are uncommon splenic cysts okay there are also certain lesions which can mimic cysts so the lesions which can mimic cysts on ultrasonography okay the lesions which can mimic cysts on ultrasonography include sometimes ab sometimes abscesses or lymphomas or if you see necrotic metastasis or hematomas okay all these will mimic cysts on ultrasonography though they are not actually cysts but they mimic cysts on ultrasonography then so these are the important points about the uh splenic cysts in the next class we will see some types of splenic cysts thank you